Okay, I'm gonna make sure I scrape all of this cream of chicken out and put it in this pie crust here that I pre-baked actually, just for about 10 minutes. I put some four coals at the bottom and pre-baked it so it'll be nice and crispy at the end. All right, there is our soup. Next, I'm going to add some vegetables. These are frozen California mixed vegetables. Uh, you can use whatever ones you like. Uh, we really like these. And we love the green beans here, so I'm gonna add some of those as well. I think that's a good amount. Okay, I'm gonna mix those in there. I want them to get nice and coated with the soup. There we go. All right, no pie is complete without chicken. So we're gonna add some chicken next. I have this frozen grilled chicken from Tyson. I'm gonna pour some out here. Some of these chunks are small, some are big. If any really big chunks come out, I might remove them uh, just because I don't want too big of pieces, but I want it to cook evenly there. And it's nice that it's frozen because it's going to add some moisture to this, um, this soup. The soup is pretty thick, but with all these frozen veggies and chicken, um, they're gonna thaw out and add a little bit of moisture, which is gonna be great. Okay, now that that's mixed in there, I'm gonna add some spices. All right, I have got some basil here and some oregano. You can use whatever Italian spices you like. These are my two favorites. Oregano and the basil. I love basil. There we go. Another one I love, rosemary. Now there's a trick with this. You want to pour it in your hand first because rosemary has these oils in it. And to release those oils, you just gotta kind of crush them a little bit before you put them in. And you can smell it more. That aroma is great. Okay, and now we're gonna add black pepper. Don't need to add any extra salt. There's plenty of sodium in this soup. So no need for extra salt there. All right, I'm gonna mix that in. Now, a couple optional ingredients are coming up next, but I'm making this for the man holding the camera. Mm -hmm. And for him, no meal is complete without cheese and bacon. <laughs> cheese and bacon, coming right up for you, honey. Mm. Oh, don't want that to go in there. That's gonna be delicious. This is Monterey Jack. It's really good with cheddar too, but we had this Monterey Jack and mm, gotta love it. All right, that looks great. Okay, so next up, I'm just gonna clean off my surface a little bit and I'm gonna pull over our pie crust topping I'm gonna do something really cool with this. Oh no, oh no. <laughs> Just bang it. No, oh, it's really stuck. Oh boy. Has this ever happened to you guys where you rip it and it just doesn't work? How are we gonna do this? I might need to get a knife. I wonder if I can pull from the other side. Oh dear, nope. Hmm. Get a knife. Okay. Actually, I'm gonna try it with these, these scissors. Oh, look at that. Okay, I think I can do this. Oh, it, it really wants to burst out of there. Oh boy. This is, mm-hmm, okay. Hmm. All right. Oh. It is, wow. This is not the way to do this, but sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do. 
There we go. Whew. Thank you, scissors. Kitchen shears. That is probably my favorite kitchen utensil, the shears. I use them for so many things, obviously. Okay. All right. So I'm going to make a fun design here on the top with this using my husband's favorite kitchen utensil, mm -hmm. which I will show you in just a moment. But first, let me get this rolled out here. Oh, boy. Where it popped out, it, it's not looking too pretty, but we're going to fix it. And it's going to be just beautiful once we put it on top of this pie. Okay. All right, so here, as I mentioned, my husband's favorite, the pizza cutter. I'm gonna make some strips, about a half inch, about a half inch wide. Ooh. And it's okay that there are these lines in there. It's still going to look amazing. And we're done with it. Oop, that one I made extra thick. I think I was gonna cut that in half there. That'll do. Okay. All right, I'm gonna start with this. I'll cut the rest of this in a moment, but I wanna get going on this, um, this crust topping here. I'm just gonna create a little bit of a lattice. Um, some of these might be a little long, but we can just fold them like that. Like so. Oops. Well, you know what? That might actually work out. I'm going to do this here. This is going to be our bottom lattice layer. I'm going to make two layers of lattice. And I'm creating these little gaps in there on purpose. is very easy to do and really it's gonna look really nice when it's done you can just overlap that like that Alexa stop Alexa's always giving us warnings about what's coming next in our lives all right now I'm gonna start going this way with the lattice here. I think I'm gonna add a short one right here on the end, just cause it'll look good. Yeah? How's this looking, honey? Great. I'm excited to eat this for sure. Okay. Almost ready to, you know what? I'm gonna use this. I don't wanna waste it, but I'm gonna go ahead and cut the rest of this. Because some of these smaller pieces will be perfect for the edges. There we go. All right, we just have this little bit left here to cut with our pizza cutter. There we are. Okay. There we go. Thread that like that. I know I'm kind of folding in some areas and ripping off in other areas, but that is that is okay. Might be a little bit of this crust left over. I'll find something else to do with it because I don't like to throw things away. Okay. All right. This is gonna turn out great. So I'm gonna stick this in the oven now for 30 minutes at 350 and then we get to try it. Okay, we're all done. So we left this in for 45 minutes, truth be told, instead of just 30, because I thought it needed some more time, but I'm glad I did, because it's got a nice crunch there in the middle. Even though it's not quite as brown, it's still crispy. And I cannot wait to dive in and give this a try. 
I think I'll have to save some for my husband. Mm -hmm. But I'm gonna take the first bite and let you all know how it is. Here we go. Oh my goodness. Oh, doesn't that look pretty? You know, I probably could have done a better job cutting, but that's okay. That's kind of, you know what, pot pies are, they're meant to be a little messy. All right. I'm gonna give this a taste and let you all know how it is. Get some of that crust there. Definitely want a carrot. Oh, it's hot, look at that steam. Okay, all right. Ooh, mm, 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 m